YouTube, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. My name is Cassie and you are watching The Victorian Thimble. For today's project, I'm going to make Luna Lap and the Bunny a pair of galoshes. If you recall, I got this book for Christmas. This book has the designs to make all of these animals and their clothes. So for today, we're gonna make her a pair of galoshes. So the first thing I do is get out the book and locate the patterns at the back of the book for the project I want to do. I need these four pieces that you see here, the boot bottoms, sides, gussets, and the boot strap. I take a piece of paper and I insert it into this book. It is a slightly thinner um, paper stock than normal and I simply use this to trace. Any of the straight lines that I could trace with a ruler, I did so. The rest I traced freehand. Now that I have the four pieces traced, we're ready to get these cut out. This film is sped up. I simply cut around the edges of all the pieces that I traced as close to the outside of the drawing line as I could. back to our project now continue cutting out the remainder of the pieces until all the pattern pieces are cut out next I use this fabric pen that will dry to the color white when using it I laid out the pieces on some felt that I got from the dollar store and traced around the pieces ready to cut them out in twos Here's a sample of when the ink is dry and you can see it's like a nice white chalk line but it doesn't rub away so quickly. I pin two layers together and then I cut these parts out very carefully to try and avoid the felt shifting. And there you have it. There's the first set cut out. Next, I use the marked line down the center of the boot on the outer side of each boot and my scissors and simply cut to the end of that drawn line. Now I'm measuring out a one and a half inch length of grosgrain ribbon. You can see here I just measured it out carefully and then I take a pair of scissors and simply snip it to the length I need. I cut out two of these. Here's my pre-cut supplies all ready to go. Now it's time to sit down to the sewing machine. First, I put those two layers together, pin them carefully to try and hold them from shifting. As I sew around the boot front as per the directions, I did take my time and go slowly to prevent as much shifting of fabric as possible. Next, I took the grosgrain ribbon and I pressed in the unfinished sides. You can see the little fold marks here so that it would not unravel. Next, I folded the other ends in so that we end up with a small rectangle. The back side of it looks like this. Now I take the boot where we had run that seam and I clipped the seam so that it's a little bit closer. Then I turn this out and I pin the label to the front of the rain boot. You can see the positioning is about one centimeter below the top. The first thing I did was stitch around all four sides of the label to just hold it into place. Don't worry if this part isn't perfect as long as it's close to the edges because now you're just gonna cover it with zigzag stitching. Next, I zigzag down the label so that it has a nice little red outline. Your finished product should look like this. Now I pin the gussets into the boots. Look here in the picture, you have a transparent diagram to the left and the non-transparent to the right. You can see I have pinned the gusset inside the split as displayed in that picture. Next, we have to sew the edge stitching on the boot straps, which are these right here. 
Now that I did the edge stitching, I have tucked these in as the display showed in the picture with the loose end of the bootstrap facing towards the back. I just showed you there what the back of that gusset area looks like. And now we're gonna sew along those lines, just edge stitching, go across the bottom and back up the other side. Now that the work is turned out the other way, I took a pair of scissors and I simply cut away the excess fabric on the inside of the gusset to reduce any bulk. Here's what the trimmed gusset looks like. Now I turn the boot back out to the right side and I pin that boot strap to the back as displayed here. The directions do call for miniature little buckles to be inserted on these boots. If you had those buckles, you would be inserting them at this stage. Now that you've sewn down the strap, take a pair of scissors and trim the top of the boot gusset so that it's even with the top of the boot. It should look like this. Now pin the boots together, right sides together, closing those back seams that run down the back of the leg. You're gonna run these on the sewing machine to close those seams as well. Once you have that done, you'll also trim these seams a little closer so you only have about an eighth of an inch of a seam left. Now it's time to pin the bottom of the boots and the boot together. Once you've run that around the machine, the bottom should look something like this. And then once again, taking your scissors, trim away the excess seam allowance to reduce bulk. Now the boot will be all sewn and you can turn it right side out. Let's see what we got. And here she is, Miss Luna Lappin, wearing her beautiful new wellies or galoshes or rain boots, however you prefer to call them. They look really good on her feet. They actually were pretty easy to put on. Overall, I'm happy with how the project turned out. And now she has a new part to her wardrobe. This was a fun and simple project to do that anyone could do in an afternoon. So I recommend you give it a try sometime. It was a lot of fun to do, and sometimes doing a small project gives you a great sense of accomplishment. Thanks so much everyone for tuning into my channel today and watching another little project in Luna Lappin the Bunny's wardrobe. Thanks for watching my Making Luna Lappin's Rain Boots video. Have a great day. Bye.